Hey everyone, stopping things here. This is uh, going to be an ammunition review and test of the Winchester M22. This is a black copper plated round nose, 22 LR, 40 grain, 1255 feet per second. Specifically designed for modern sporting rifles with high capacity magazines, this realistic tactical training load is perfect for practice plinking or target shooting. Show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I always write the amount remaining in these bulk boxes so I know. Grab a couple here. Show you guys what they look like. It is a black copper plated round nose. Well, that one's a little loose. I think I've noticed that with these as you get, get some really loose ones. No, nope, that one's fine. I've had a couple come out of these or this box that were a little loose. But alright. Not much else to look at. So get to the test. Real quick I want to make mention I'll be shooting this from now my Ruger 1022 with a Ruger BX25 magazine. Uh, on a table using a rifle rest and at 30 yards. Alright guys, it's the Winchester M22 the ammunition test. That sounded bad. All right, that is ten. Okay, so here we go. Here's the results. I think that's a little bit better grouping than the uh, the Federal Auto Match that I had. Um, this is actually the best grouping I've ever gotten with the M22s. Uh, if you guys remember my, if you've seen my last video, uh, it was awful. Um, it was going all over the place. Um, a lot of the rounds uh, sounded really weak too. They were pretty much subsonic. I only had one in this uh, 10 shot grouping that that had a weak load in it. So I guess uh, this is what you know you can get if you've got consistent loads, but uh, you know this, this box has been a bit of a mishmash of normal and subsonic rounds and it has really affected the accuracy of the rounds. Uh, a lot of the subsonic ones were kind of going all over the place and it seemed like some were in my previous video had more of a charge than others and it seemed like they were going kind of high just all over the place but these ones for the most part sounded pretty consistent so that's a lot better than the uh, the last one I had uh, that grouping I'll measure it real quick uh, from there to there I'd say is the most extreme so we're looking at about an inch and a quarter grouping just shy of an inch and a quarter actually about an inch and an eighth grouping at 30 yards so uh, that's actually you know that's not bad uh, especially for bulk ammo um, but yeah Winchester M22 uh, it, it is what it is uh, I've seen a lot of videos where there's a lot of weak rounds um, and other people complaining about the accuracy of this stuff too in uh, comments and other videos 
of people who have done reviews of it. But, yeah, with how inconsistent this stuff is, I'd probably rely more on the, uh, the Federal Auto Match. Uh, it's kind of a give and take, though, because with the Federal, I'm always running into failure, failure to eject, but for the most part, it's pretty spot on. Whereas this one, it's, uh, don't really know what you're going to get, I guess. But, uh, Winchester M22, thanks for watching, everyone.